Hey there and welcome back to the series on how to create a mobile game. Last time we showed you how to import pictures and make them fall. Today we're gonna use these fruits to spawn them randomly over and over again. To do this we create a manager to take control of all the fruits. Of course we want a tidy project. So we create a folder and name it manager. In this we can create a new script fruit manager. This script has to be instantiated. So I create an empty game object in our hierarchy. Under this I create another empty game object for my fruit manager. So now we have the same structure in the hierarchy as in our scripts. This might help you in bigger projects so better get used to it in small projects. I attach the script to this object so it will be instantiated when entering play mode. Now I can double click on the script in the inspector and it will open up the script. For now we can get rid of the start method because we will use the awake method. Then we create a singleton method because we only want one fruits manager. And if something happens that suddenly instantiates two managers we can destroy the second one. As in the last video I can create a method with the quick fixes. I copy the method to the bottom of the script. So if no instance is there, we want to save the current instance to a variable. Else, for example when a second instance comes up, we want to destroy the second one. Again, create a variable instance with the quick fixes. But this one has to be static. So let's change that. For the moment we also can get rid of the update method. So now we have to get our prefabs into our manager. We can do this by creating a serialized list of game objects and we call this fruits prefabs. We add the serialized field tag to know that this comes from the editor. Back in Unity we can select our fruit manager. We see the list in the inspector view and now we can drag our prefabs into that list. After that we can delete the prefabs in our hierarchy because we want them to spawn from our manager. And that's exactly what we have to do now in our manager script. We create a new method called spawn start fruits. In this we want to spawn three fruits for the start. So we create a for loop and set the length to three. In this loop we can use the unity built-in method instantiate. The method expects a game object, a position, and an orientation of the object. So to get the game object from our list we create a new method which returns a game object and call this getRandomFruit. This method returns a random game object from the list. To get this done we use the list and pass in a random integer from 0 to fruits prefabs.length. First thing done, now we need a position on our screen where we can spawn the fruit. Because we want to spawn position a bit random, we create a new method get spawn position. The orientation of the object will be the identity of our current object. So we can pass this one here. Again, use quick fix to generate the method. To get a random position on our screen, we have to know how big our screen is. For this, we will create a little screen helper. So you already know how to do that. Create a game object helper, a new c -sharp script screen helper and a folder helper and then drag everything to the right place. In the screen helper we can delete the generated methods and then create three static variables screen top, screen left and screen right. We fill them in the awake method. For this we need the camera position. We can get that by camera.main.viewport to world point and pass in a new vector with 0, 1, 0. The screen top is now simply camera position.y. For the left, we need to get the camera position.y minus the camera.main.localscale.x. I add an addition of 1.5 to not spawn directly on the edge of the screen. Oh, I forgot to transform. The screen right is a bit more complex. We use camera.main.screen to world point 
and pass in a new vector with a screen width and screen height. Then we get the x variable and subtract 0.5 to not spawn on the edge. In our fruit manager, we can now return a random vector 3 with the screen left and screen right. For the top position, we just pass the screen helper.screentop and add an addition with something like randomly between 1 and 3. So to actually spawn the fruits, we have to call our method in the start method of our fruit manager. Now, every time I press play, three random fruits get spawned. The fruits are sometimes over each other. And this is a problem for our future selves. So I hope you learned something new today. Subscribe to watch the full series and I'm sure I see you in the next.